name is David Stark. I've had probably two concussions, one diagnosed for sure, the other is high likelihood. And I received one playing hockey and the diagnosed one playing basketball. I was going down for a chase down block in basketball. I went up, um, hit my hand against the backboard and jumped a little higher than usual and ended up swinging back and landed uh, on the back of my head pretty severely. So it was a pretty scary sight at the time. was more worried about physical damage when it occurred, but luckily it was just a concussion. In hindsight, whether that's lucky or not is another question. It was a long, tenuous process. It wasn't something that I could recover from or battle like a sprained finger. It was something that I had to take day by day. Dizziness, nausea, and just a long time period where I didn't know how I was gonna wake up feeling that day. You're still always worried that at some point it's, you're gonna have side effects. I was out a couple weeks from all sports. I mean, I'm a pretty active guy. I played hockey, basketball, golf, and I wasn't really able to be myself for about a month, probably. But together, there were just times where I had to take time off, take it easy. I wasn't able to go to the gym. I wasn't able to practice. So limiting the amount of light that I was taking in on a daily basis was uh, something that I really had to make, put an emphasis on. I would tell them just to take their time with it, address the issue, just make sure you're, you're taking time and treating it as a severe injury. A lot of people think because they can't see the physical injury that it's not something to be worried about, but it's probably more important, if not certainly more important as your brain, something you're going to be living with the rest of your life. You got to make sure that you're taking care of it.